the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, Alaji Maigari Dingyadi, the representative of the Federal Minister, sorry, Honorable Minister of FCT, Your Excellencies, Ambassador of Guinea to Nigeria in person and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Chairman EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, the representative of the Chairman Police Service Commission and the Commissioner One, Honorable Justice Clara Ogumbi, retired, the DIGs and other members of the management team, the head of the NCB, AIG Garba Umar, and his boss, the representative of the Director General NFIU, the Chairman, Nigeria Endowed Forum Commission, Honorable Abike Dabri Arewa, the President and Executive Members of POA, other members of the police and security services and safety agencies that are here, gentlemen of the press, good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this occasion, which marks the opening ceremony of the second edition of Interpol Week. The Interpol Week 2021 is particularly significant as it is being organized at a time when the nation and the global community are facing lots of health challenges, including security and economic challenges. The events of the week will afford us the opportunity to discuss some of these critical issues and come up with common decisions in how to tap into the vast resources of Interpol towards tackling these current emerging challenges. Interpol celebrated its 100 years of existence in 2014. The idea of the organization was conceived in Monaco, like the NCB said, at the first International Criminal Police Congress, which was held on the 14th to 18th of April, 20, sorry, 1914. At that meeting, officials from 24 countries resolved to set up a global law enforcement networking framework for the purpose of collaborating in solving national crimes and global threats. Identification of transnational criminal techniques and the networks and extradition of criminal elements. Over the years, the membership of Interpol has just grown from the initial committee of 24 chiefs of police to a worldwide body of membership covering about 194 states drawn from all over the continents of the globe. The organization has become the most critical global policing framework that is involved in the development of tools to strengthen national law enforcement capacity. Interpol's vision is connecting police for a safer world. Hence, the theme of this year's Interpol Week, which says for a safer world in Nigeria, Interpol is supporting the law enforcement community in combating diverse crimes, particularly cyber crimes in combating, sorry, particularly cyber crimes, terrorism, maritime piracy, human trafficking, illicit trafficking in goods and environmental crimes. The organization has also initiated various projects that are geared towards supporting our efforts in combating major security threats. Interpol is a platform for all security agencies, safety agencies, the military to collaborate, synergize, and cooperate in combating and fighting crime. I commend the courage of officers of the Nigeria Police Force and other law enforcement agencies who are in this platform, who have kept the spirit of Interpol alive and have been engaging in daunting tasks of policing our bus nation that is characterized with very forest borders, even with limited resources. Indeed, we have to. 
In this, we have to commend the officers and men of Interpol, National Central Bureau, NCB Abuja, for successfully organizing the Interpol Week in 2019 and 2020 and 2021 today, and supporting global law enforcement efforts in tackling and bringing to book transnational organized criminals. The NCB has also supported efforts of the Nigeria police and sister agencies, including the military, to contain the challenges of illegal immigration, trafficking in persons, banditry, terrorism, attacks, and others. Despite these successes, a lot still needs to be done. We need to keep up our collaborative efforts, devise new strategies, and the built enduring partnership to contain current in emerging security challenges. In this regard, we must appreciate the regular support of Interpol General Secretariat in availing us its tools and resources to aid our police operations, as well as in the training of our personnel and equipping our NCB. On my part, I will continue to support the NCB to deliver its mandate and sustain the lead role of the Nigeria police in sub-regional and regional space. In furtherance to this, just some weeks, few days ago, I directed the establishment of a special desk to coordinate the activities of the International Association of Chief of Police, IACP, and a designated, and a designated a senior officer would bust global policing experience to be the focal officer in all IACP-related matters. IACP is one of the platforms where all law enforcement agencies are registered as members of International Organization of the Police. It is going to be coordinated and regulated so that security officers from all sectors can participate as members. The focal officer will be sitting on the IACP steering committee and will be representing not only Nigeria, but the whole of Africa in this global policing body. This I was able to achieve. This I was able to achieve when I met the IACP president just three weeks ago when we went for the International Police Conference in Seoul, South Korea. This was part of the negotiation I had with IACP in our meeting on the sidelines of the recently concluded International Police Summit 2021 held in Seoul, Republic of Korea. This effort will support Nigerian law enforcement agencies in learning global best practices in international police cooperation matters. As you are all aware, the head of the NCB, AIG Garba Umar, is contesting for the post of Vice President for Africa in the Interpol Executive Committee. With the support of the Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, Alaji Mohammed Maigarid Ngiadi, we secured the President's approval for him to contest for the position, and he has all the support of this administration. <laughs> we have been on campaign mood throughout the world for the first three to four weeks. AIG Garba Omar has traveled wide to all the continents of the world to represent Africa. And from the information I am getting, two or three contenders from some African countries have stepped down for AIG Garba Omar. As for now, we are only waiting for him to be sworn is sworn in as the Vice President Africa. There are four Vice Presidents in the interval from Asia, America, Africa, and so forth that are sitting in that seat. Before I conclude, I must commend our technical partners and friends from various embassies and organizations who have been working behind the scene to keep our police operations with vibrant and efficiency. In the course of this event, we will be dedicating an entire week to draw attention to Interpol 
and its resources to support international police cooperation and law enforcement efforts worldwide. I look forward for interfacing with our technical partners and sister law enforcement agencies, including the military, towards taking advantage of Interpol Week 2021 to strengthen our professional networks and appreciating the strategic importance of Interpol tools as we commonly strive to advance national and global peace and security. To this end, I welcome you warmly to our Interpol Week and the General Secretariat staff and other partners and friends to have come to avail us with the support and technical expertise. And I look forward to an event that will be more professionally enriching than that of 2020. Thank you all for your rapt attention. Thank <laughs> you.